Hi there. Um, I'm going to take this time to uh, bring to you uh, some of the works in progress which are made with color pencil, pastel, and watercolor. I got quite a few uh, messages uh, wanting to, to see some of the uh, works in color and I'm going to take you on a little uh, journey, okay? This one right here uh, I call Black Eyed Susan and she is uh, what, I, what, I want, what I want to depict uh, with her is a little girl from Mississippi, 1960s. Uh, she uh, just happened to witness discrimination. Uh, she doesn't understand what has just happened. So she puts her little hand to her mouth, confused and afraid. Uh, I think it's quite powerful. And this is created with Prisma Colors. It's a work in progress, as you can see. Uh, I love the little curly hairs and uh, the little flower, the little summer dress, the hat. Uh, it's going to be quite interesting, a piece, once I get it finished. So this is Black Eyed Susan. Next, I have a pair of uh, baby birds. This is watercolor. It's been blocked in with the primary coat. They're so darling, really sweet. Listen to the girl. She's saying hello. Okay. Yeah, this is going to be a whimsical, pretty little piece once I get it finished. This is another watercolor in progress. It's called uh, Secret Garden, and it's just a. Uh, Type of imagine an old wall with a stone carving of a sun with grapes, and it's got vines. As you can see, I'm already starting to bring into place. Also, these are the, the primary coats that I'm adding to it. It's going to be quite lovely. Okay. This uh, next piece is also a watercolor. I call it a uh, persimmons on a Wedgwood ball, and it's. Uh, watercolor with highlights of gold. The tape street is just beginning to be blocked. As you can see right here, I'm already starting to uh, add some of the stitching. So once I got all the uh, foreground uh, shapes into place and highlight and so forth I will concentrate on the background but I, I love this piece right here I think it's quite beautiful the rose is just stunning very colorful very pretty I love the details of the, the old antique bowl you know with a bit of, bit of 
wearing and distressing. I think it's very pretty. Here we have a colored pencil, which is 30 by 40. And it's the face of Ava Gardner on a stylized uh, floating, what I call floating features. Um, it's all created blending prism colors yeah. I took about a whole week just blending the colors one on top of the other I select about probably 10 colors in different shades, beginning with the lightest and moving on to the darkest, because if you add the darkest colors first, you're going to have a, a harder time uh, layering the, the light ones. So uh, I begin light and move into the darker hues. There she is. I'm turning it this way, but I know I think it will, it will have to keep this way in order to, so everything will stay uh, in the same angle. This is, of course, a very familiar icon. It's created with a mixture of uh, Prisma Colors and Faber Castells. This is the preliminary stages. This is what we're going for. We're going for the, the deep texture uh, movements on the body, the tail, and, and it's, it's, it's a weapon actually. But I think it's quite striking. It's 30 by 40 and it's about, I would say, maybe a quarter into production. And next we have a watercolor of uh, cactus orchids with a monarch butterfly. I'm very fond of this piece. It's a very challenging one. There are a lot of tiny details that take a lot of time. It's very time consuming. But the textures are quite beautiful. Um, this orchid right here is quite stunning. As you can see. Okay. Okay, there you go. That's a pretty, very colorful, and very decorative.
Okay. And lastly, I'm going to bring to you what I consider to be a masterpiece. And this is Audrey Hepburn, created with pastel on a uh, four ply canson board. Everything that you see has been laid out with a realistic approach, but in a sort of romantic, stylized uh, rendering. The scarf that she's wearing, I find absolutely breathtaking. Uh, it's a very romantic piece. It's a, it's a, it's a very beautiful piece. And I think that it, it captures Audrey, her beauty, her class. She loves flowers. Um, I'm very fond of this piece. Okay. I hope you enjoyed this little uh, demo that I'm bringing to you. And, you know. I'm very, I'm very pleased. So, thank you for watching.